What's going on guys? It's Nick here, back with another video. Today, I'll be going over the start sit questions you guys submitted in the comment section of the last two videos. I did 75 last week, but I almost went mad making that video, and a lot of them were pretty similar anyway. So today, I'm gonna do 50, and I'll try and touch on a good range of players. Of course, I can't answer every single one of the questions. There's over like 3,000 of them by the end of the week. So if I don't talk about your specific player, then you can see my exact rankings at our website, thefantasyfootballadvice.com. Also, if you enjoy the video each week, then be sure to leave a like. It lets me know you guys are enjoying the content. So let's hop right into the questions with the first one. Dak versus Green Bay without his starting left tackle or Jacoby Brissett versus Kansas City. I have to go with Dak on that one. He's at home. They have a much higher implied total, and the Colts would prefer to run the football in this game, shorten up the game, increase how much variance plays in the outcome. I really doubt they want to get into a full-on shootout with Kansas City. Question two, in full PPR, Hollywood Brown or Damian Williams in the flex? I would go with Hollywood Brown here. As of right now, we don't have any information on exactly how many touches they want to give Williams. We think he's going to be active, but that doesn't mean he's the starter. It doesn't mean he's getting 10 to 15 touches. We don't know. We could know closer to Sunday, and that could change the decision. But as of right now, I mean, Hollywood is amongst the league leaders in air yards. He just hasn't hit in the last two weeks. But the targets in the air yards are there, so I'd rather start him. Watson or Winston? Uh, this one's pretty similar to Dak versus Brissett. Whenever in doubt, you want to look, well, which team is at home? Which team has the higher projected point total? Houston plays the Falcons at home, and they have the fourth highest total on the week. Then the Bucks play the Saints on the road, and they have the 19th highest total on the week. So I'd go Watson. Sammy Watkins or LaShawn McCoy at the flex, I'd go Watkins here. McCoy will at best be splitting the snaps, and it's entirely possible he only sees, say, 35 to 40% of the snap share. Even with Damian Williams inactive, he hasn't been over 46%. So if he's only going to be in the 30s, then I feel better about Watkins, especially at home after a week in which the Chiefs scored all of their touchdowns on the ground. Can't exactly expect that to happen every week, and a lot of times when that happens, the next week, teams overcorrect. So we could see them throw for five touchdowns this week. Flash, Breda, or McCoy? I would go with Flash on this one. We sort of have to throw away last week because Buffalo is just one of the hardest matchups for outside wide receivers that there is, especially when you're playing in Buffalo. Well, Washington is basically the polar opposite. Gordon should see seven to nine targets. He's going to get some deep shots and he's got a good chance to score. So I think he's a very strong play in the flex. Start two between Allen Robinson, Golden Tate, and DJ Moore. I definitely go with Robinson. Tate is playing his first game with his new team. So I'd want to wait a week and just see how exactly they use him in the offense before starting him. The Panthers do have a better wide receiver matchup, but I'd still rather play more over Tate in his first week. Next, we have Juju, McLaurin, or Demarcus Robinson. They also said they probably have to start Juju, but they have no idea what's going on over there. Well, what's going on over there is the Steelers are playing ultra conservative. They're not pushing the ball downfield, and the air yards have all but disappeared. Plus, they're not really making up for it in play volume, so we really can't expect Juju to post elite numbers moving forward, at least for the time being, unless they get a little bit more aggressive. The problem is, you're right, you probably do have to start him. There's no way I'm playing McLaurin coming off of a hamstring injury and being shadowed by Gilmore. Like, that's not happening. He's not in my lineup. Then your other option is Robinson, but he's so boomer bust that I think I'd rather just play Juju and hope that this is the week they get a little bit more risky on offense. The Ravens aren't an easy matchup, but they're definitely not as good as they used to be. In half PPR, Golden Tate, Ronald Jones, or Duke Johnson. Like I said, I don't really trust Tate this week. Think he's a good guy to have on your roster moving forward, but just not this week. And then Duke has a great matchup, but they're just not using him in the role we would want for them to exploit that matchup. So I would trust Ronald Jones the most, and that's kind of a crazy thing to say, but I really would trust Jones the most 
out of this group. Uh, pick two between MVS, Hollywood Brown, and John Brown. I definitely go with MVS because Adams looks like he's going to be out this week. So that's a lot of targets that are now available. Uh, and then I would start Hollywood over John Brown. It's close if Allen were to be active, but I don't think he will be. So I'd go Hollywood there. Larry Fitz or Melvin Gordon. We don't know exactly how involved Gordon's going to be just yet. But we do know that Kirk and Bird are out. So while it doesn't mean Fitz is going to jump to 20 targets, it does mean he's locked into a big role. So I'd feel better about him than I do with Melvin Gordon. In full PPR, Jared Cook or Will Disley. I'd start Disley for sure, especially with Breeze still being out. MVS or Juju, I'd go MVS there. Again, Adams is likely out. And the Steelers are just playing way too conservative for Juju to be a consistent option in fantasy. Full PPR, Duke Johnson or Royce Freeman, I'd go with Royce there. Again, they're just not using Duke in a really big role in the offense. Pick up Hunter Henry off free agency, yeah. MVS or Sutton this week, I'd go with MVS uh, again. Adams potentially out. Half PPR, Ronald Jones or Duke Johnson. Ronald Jones discussed Duke Johnson not being someone I really want to play this week. Will Disley or Mark Andrews? That's an interesting one. I think you have to go with Mark Andrews there. They're both extremely involved in the red zone. They both see a good number of targets. Andrews just sees more air yards and a deeper ADOT. So I trust his production more and he has a slightly higher ceiling week to week. Golden Tate or Sterling Shepard, definitely Shepard there. Dorsett or Fuller, that's a really tough one. Fuller almost had a huge game last week, and he's going to explode soon. And I really hope it's this week because I am starting him in my big league. But I would play Dorsett over him if I had him. Dorsett is set up really nicely this week, and the Pats should be able to do really whatever they want on offense. Half PPR, Melvin Gordon or Eckler. I think they give Eckler more volume than Gordon, at least for this week. Maybe not after this week, but I think at least for one more week, Eckler's the guy you want in that backfield, so I'd go with him. Standard, Emmanuel Sanders, Demarcus Robinson, or DJ Chark. I'd go with Sanders. Carolina limits deep plays, so Chark's upside is a little bit capped this week. He can still have a nice game, but his upside is a little bit capped. And then Robinson has more upside, but you need him to hit on that deep play for it to hit. And I just think Sanders feels like the better overall play. Someone asked, what are air yards? It's just how far the ball travels in the air. In general, if two receivers have a very similar number of targets, a very similar involvement when they get close to the end zone, then you'd want to start the one getting more air yards because they have a higher ceiling. You can find these stats at airyards.com, NFL Savant, and NFL Next Gen Stats. Those are some sites that I use. Uh, Debo Samuel, Curtis Samuel, McLaurin, or Hardman. I'd go with Curtis Samuel. Like I said, McLaurin has the toughest possible matchup with Gilmore. Debo really only gets a few targets each week, so it's a little bit tough to trust him until they start giving him more. Uh, and then Hardman has all the upside in the world, but if he doesn't hit on the deep ball, then he's only going to get you a few points. I think Curtis Samuel does have a difficult matchup when you look at it. You know, Jaguars are never something you want to play against. But the Jags have actually been below average in pass defense DVOA and yards per attempt this season. So it's not as difficult as it seems. So I would go with Curtis there. In PPR, uh, Sutton or Chark, that one is tough. Both teams have a low implied total and both are road dogs. Not great for any player in the team. I'd go with Sutton because he's getting a little bit more volume and because, like I said, the Panthers limit deep plays, so Chark's upside is slightly capped. In standard, Larry Fitzgerald or Philip Dorsett, I'd go with Fitzgerald this week because of the secure volume with so many players being out on the Carolina offense. Standard, Breida, MVS, Demarcus Robinson, or Samuel. I'm assuming you meant Curtis Samuel. If Adams is out, then MVS. If Adams plays, then Breida. Sony Michelle or Wayne Gallman. I would do Gallman for the receptions. You basically need 80 yards and a touchdown from Sony if he's not being targeted, which 
he is not going to be targeted. Yes, that's actually likely to happen this week, but I feel better about someone who's at least going to get a few targets in the passing game. Start two in standard scoring, Boyd, Fuller, Juju, Kirk, or Hollywood Brown. Well, Kirk is probably out if he already hasn't been declared out, so definitely not him. Ross is out, so I would definitely go Boyd because he's going to see a ton of targets in a really nice matchup and a really big pace up matchup. And then Hollywood is seeing a ton of volume, so I would go Boyd and Hollywood. Half PPR, Austin Eckler, Calvin Ridley, John Brown, or Mecole Hardman. Again, I think I'd still go with Eckler here. I think it still is backfield, and even if they're going to split right down the middle, he's just so involved and his touches are so high value that you got to just keep starting him. Allison or Josh Gordon. Again, Allison gets a really nice bump if Adams is out. I would still go with Flash, even if Adams is out. Um, Brady really likes Gordon. We know AB is gone. And really, if you take out the games at Buffalo, which was a very, very difficult matchup, and the game where they were just feeding Antonio Brown and they were just running the clock out, Take out those two games. Gordon's been good, and he's going to get you know his seven, eight, nine targets. He's going to be used down the field, high upside targets. I just think Gordon is a really good play this week. Both him and Dorsett should have very good games. Uh, start three in full PPR, Allen Robinson, Adam Thielen, Calvin Ridley, DJ Chark, and Philip Dorsett. Like I said, I think Dorsett has a nice week, so I'd start him. Definitely Thielen as well. Cousins had him on his podcast earlier this week to publicly apologize for not throwing to him enough. So yeah, these things happen. Whenever big name wide receivers complain and the team or the quarterback publicly apologizes to him, you better bet Thielen is getting a boatload of targets this week. And it's not exactly a difficult matchup. Last week they were playing the Bears. So if this had happened two weeks ago, you'd have been like, yeah, but they're playing the Bears. You can't really just force feed someone. They're playing the Giants. They're not a good defense. So definitely start Adam Thielen wherever you have him this week. And then I'd also start Allen Robinson. It's a good matchup, and he's getting a ton of volume. He's just dominating all of the volume in the receiving game on the Bears. So even with Trubisky out, we're going Robinson, Thielen, and Dorsett on that one. Start two in standard scoring. Miles Sanders, Josh Jacobs, and David Montgomery. This one's tough. In standard, I'd go with Sanders and Montgomery, basically only because Jacobs plays the Bears. So he's not that likely to have a ton of yards or to score. So I would just take the other two. Definitely Montgomery. Sanders is a little bit closer. But again, I really don't want to start a running back against the Bears. Start two in standard scoring again. Curtis Samuel, Daryl Williams, Breda, or Gallman. With Damian Williams expected to be back now, we can't be starting Daryl Williams. Uh, and then I'd also bench Samuel. He should go off soon, but in standard, you want to lean towards the running backs getting volume, and both Bereda and Gallman should have decent roles this week. Uh, at the flex in half PPR, David Montgomery, Josh Jacobs, Alshon, or Golden Tate. I'd go with Alshon. He's got a great matchup against the Jets secondary. Uh, David Montgomery would get second place in that one. Miles Sanders, John Brown, Damian Williams, assuming that he plays, because we don't know for sure yet if he's playing. I really do think he will be out there, though. Um, if we get word that Damian Williams is not going to be on a snap count. So not only do we get word he's playing, obviously we need that, but we also get word that he's not on a snap count. Then I would go with him, even playing less than half the snaps, which is what he would likely be at. This is Kansas City. There's so much upside with their running backs and that offense. If we do get word that he's going to be limited, then I play Miles Sanders, unless Josh Allen is active, in which case I'd go with Brown. So there's all the possible scenarios laid out for you. Uh, half PPR, we've got Shady, Miles Sanders, Golden Tate, or DJ Moore. I'd go with Shady. Again, Kansas City running back at home, expected to score around 30 points. Standard scoring, Sony Michelle, Gallman, Diggs, or Ridley. I think I'd go with Michelle there. The lack of receiving hurts him a lot less in standard scoring. I don't feel great about starting him regardless, but again, projected to score around 30 points against Washington, so he's got a really nice chance to score. Should be near 100 yards, and you don't get hurt with half in full PPR because it's standard. 
Another standard question, Diggs, Watkins, or Fuller? I'd go Watkins because KC at home. Full PPR, Mixon, Gallman, or Damian Williams? I'd go Mixon because of the matchup with Arizona. I know I said last week that Arizona does sell out to try and stop the run sometimes, but one, it doesn't always work, and two, Ross is now out, so they really just don't have that many playmakers left, so they're going to have to use him heavily in the offense. And it's a really nice pace-up spot whenever teams play Arizona, so they should run a lot of plays. In standard, Austin Eckler or David Montgomery. We're still starting Eckler. MVS or Daryl Williams, assuming that Damian doesn't play. Uh, still MVS. Even if Damian's out, I'd still start MVS over Daryl uh, because just the loss of Adams in that offense frees up so many targets. And obviously, that's assuming... Adams is out. Boyd or Melvin Gordon? I'd go Boyd. The matchup with Arizona is great. And like I said, Ross is out, so they don't have that many playmakers left. In PPR, Diggs, Flash, or Damian Williams? I would start Flash. Again, great volume and scoring opportunity for him. And I think Cousins makes it a point to feed Thielen, which would come a little bit at the expense of Diggs. Not saying you can't start Diggs because, you know, it's the Giants, so really they could both go off. Uh, but definitely flash over digs this week. Half PPR, Kirk, Gallman, or Tyrell? Well, Kirk should be out, and Tyrell plays the Bears, so I'd go with Gallman there. Uh, Sterling Shepard or Sony Michelle? I would start Shepard. Half PPR, Darren Waller or Austin Hooper? If Waller were playing basically anyone else, then I'd go with him. But the Bears are pretty good at defense, so I think that I'd feel much more comfortable starting Hooper. Uh, Diggs, Sutton, Miles Sanders, or Tyrell Williams? I'd go with Diggs. I know I just said they're going to feed Thielen, but it's a really good matchup, and none of those other options get me that excited. They're not that great of matchups. They're not that involved, so I would go with Diggs. In PPR, Aaron Jones or Mixon? I'd go with Mixon. This is a very difficult one. I think they're both going to have nice weeks, especially with Aaron Jones being the workhorse right now while Jamal Williams is out. But Mixon is in such a pace-up spot, going to be so involved that I just I feel like you have to start him. Uh, PPR, you've got Fournette or Carson. I'd go with Fournette there. And then in standard, we've got Boyd or Larry Fitzgerald. I'd go with Boyd. In any format, doesn't matter that it was standard or PPR because I think he's going to have a really nice week with everyone out and playing the Cardinals. So those are 50 start sit questions for week five. You can answer any question you have by just looking at my exact rankings at our website, thefantasyfootballadvice.com. But that, my friends, is the end of this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, how about hitting that like button? And if you're new here, how about subscribing to the channel? But thanks for watching.